Hello! For those of you that do not know me, I am Ms. Carone and I am your child science teacher this year. We will be implementing what is called a flipped classroom. For those of you that know me from fifth grade, when I had your child, we did this as well in fifth grade. However, there are some things that have changed slightly, so I encourage you to continue to watch this video. Your child should have received this information packet on the flipped classroom. This has a lot of detail about exactly what a flipped classroom is and what science will look like this year. But I am going to give you a brief overview of what I think is the most important points. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to talk about is the difference between a traditional and a flipped classroom. So you and I are used to a traditional classroom when we, when we were growing up, where we came to class, we sat in rows, um, the teacher lectured us and then we took notes in class and then we did homework at home to show our understanding. In the flipped classroom that is reversed and the teacher records and shares the lectures and then puts them up in a video format for students to watch at home. So they come to class already with the note portion done, allowing class time to be devoted to applied learning, higher order thinking learning, and for me to be able to give your child the support that they need and be able to better answer their questions. Okay, so why do I flip my classroom? There are many reasons, but these are the top reasons why I choose to flip. Uh, first of all, students learn at different paces. Some learn faster, some learn, learn slower. And when your child is watching these videos at home, it gives them the freedom to learn the material and take the notes at their own pace. With regular homework, students do not necessarily always understand the concept and are unsure of how to apply the information on their own. And this is not really helpful to them or respectful of their time and effort. Also, it gives students who are absent a chance to easily get caught up and get the material that they missed um, in class so they're not ever really behind. And also, the lessons are now always on the website for students to refer to as well as for you as the parent to see what we're learning and that way you can help them in their learning process as well. So what is a flipped classroom? So students will watch videos of me teaching a concept at home. These videos can be watched in many different ways. So computer, a mobile device, a tablet, you know, anything basically that can get YouTube can, your student will be able to watch the videos. Now, if your child does not have access to a smartphone or internet, then your child is more than welcome to bring a little zip drive, a USB, and they can upload the video to their USB pop it into the computer even if there's no internet and they can still watch it. If none of those options work for you, please contact me and I can make your child a DVD or we can come up with another com accommodation for your child to be able to watch the videos. During the videos, the students will take notes at their own pace using the pause, rewind, and fast forward features as needed. And this is a really great way for them to, to get the information that they need as opposed to if they're getting it in class and I'm teaching it, some some students, when I'm teaching it at the front of the classroom, they can get it like this and then they're bored because they already know what's going on. And then there's some students who can't necessarily take in and absorb the information and process it right away and they need to hear it again or they need to hear it at a slower pace. And so that is why these videos are great for letting your child really take ownership of the learning and go at the pace that suits them. Also, your students will then fill out what is called a WISC. There's more information on what that is in here, but basically it is for them to process what they saw in the video, not just write it down, but for them to you know, show what they, they got from the video and then what are their questions they still have that need to be answered. During the video, your student is expected to watch it fully, participate every night they are assigned. They will be assigned about twice a week. Um, if it is a five minute long video, then you can expect it to take your child about 10 to 12 minutes um, since they will be pausing and writing notes down. Um, they are not expected to fully master the material right away. They are expected to understand the basics as well as write down any confusing questions that they can get clarified either from their classmates or from me the next day. So if the students are taking notes and watching the lecture part at home, what exactly do we do in class? And this is the fun part because 
Since your child is doing that part at home, that frees up our class time to engage in more meaningful conversations, get more questions answered, to go to a higher level of thinking where they can really apply the situations to real world. And we get to engage in more project-based learning, more hands-on activities, and I, as their teacher, will better be able to serve them because I will be able to get more one-on-one -on -one time with students that need extra help, as well as work with small groups and really help them with things that they are confused about. Or for the students that get it, they will be able to extend their learning and go a little bit further deeper into the topic. Okay, so like I said, it is a much more engaging and exciting environment for your child. Um, the students get to be more active in their own learning. They become an active participant instead of just passively sitting in the classroom watching someone else teach. So it's a really great process and it's really beneficial to your child. So as a parent, I really encourage you to make sure your, your students are participating in the videos at home. And that way the flipped classroom can really benefit your child and work in the way that it is designed to work. Our class website is sciencewithmiscarone.weebly.com. I encourage you to visit it um, throughout the week. It will have updates, it will have vocabulary that we're learning. You can find out information about Science Fair, you can find out information about myself, how to contact me, you can see what your child is learning. So it is a really great tool that we are going to be using this year. So thank you for watching and if you have any questions about what's in the video or what's in here, please don't hesitate to ask me and please make sure that your, you and your child fill this out, sign it and return it by tomorrow. So thank you so much for your time and have a wonderful evening and students, I will see you tomorrow.